everyone, Stephen here. Thank you for joining me today for another reef or water quality chat. So today we're going to talk about pH and uh, TDS, which stands for total dissolved solid in water. Um, for salt water, uh, pH you want it anywhere between 8 to 8.4. You know, it depends on what you're keeping. The higher, the better. Do you have SPS and clamps? And then for a total dissolved solid, you just want to make sure it's um, lower than 500 ppm per million um, so that it is clean and not too dirty. Anyways, um, I have been looking around for some electronic monitor for those because I'm kind of sick and tired of using the traditional either dipping test or um, having to drip, 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 and um, it's, it, it gets annoying after a while. So, originally I was going to go for the HANA test kit. But Hana, um, as good a, as the brand is, nothing against them. I I feel like it's a little overpriced. Um, same test kit for Hana that includes um, pH and also temperature or pH and something else. I can't remember what it is. It ranges from anywhere from forty to sixty dollars. This guy um, comes with two monitors. Um, one is for pH and one is for TDS, and actually it goes down to two degrees um two two decimal places um 20 bucks from amazon so i'm gonna open it up and show you guys what it all entails so there is the yellow one is the ph monitor here um you can kind of open right here this is the end that you're gonna dip in the water you always want to make sure you rinse it with um, clean water fresh water well otherwise um with the breeze or salt buildup, then you're gonna have to calibrate it a lot more. This is the TDS Total Dissolved Solid um, monitor. Again, open it up on this end. Um, this is the end that you stick in the water, but you also wanna make sure you clean it well before you store it. Um, fortunately, batteries are included. Very, very un-American. I don't know where this thing is built. Um, maybe I'll tell you guys in a little bit. So there is a battery, a couple more. looks like this two meters with different batteries. And there's uh, three different packs for calibration. So this is a pH four, um, 25C just tells you that you have to dissolve this in a 25 Celsius, which is approximately 77 Fahrenheit. Um, water, temperature water. This is pH nine. And then this is pH 6.8, so basically 7, this will be neutral. This is in the high end, and this is the acidic end. And user manual, one page. I love it. Don't want complicated things. Uh, everyone, good news. Turns out the batteries that are included here are spare batteries. How about that? $20 pack of two meters comes with spare batteries and this thing already has batteries. So for pH meter, the instruction says, turn the thing on. Well, first you want to rinse it. Um, it is clean right now because it's not, it hasn't been used. You want to rinse it, turn the thing on. Um, I don't know if you can see there's some numbers in there. Anyways, immerse it under water for 30 seconds. So as you can see the numbers are kind of flicking a little bit right now. Oh wait. Wow if that is real number I will be very concerned. Looks like it's steady. So right now Place. Put it back in again. 7.32. Holy moly, that is low. That pH is low. Well, you know what? Um, after this test, I am going to run a manual test um, and see how accurate this thing is. All right, now let me test the TDS meter, see how that thing works. Be right back. All right, total dissolved solid. Here's the TDS meter. So again, um, I am going to be, right now, there's a like little thing to say the temperature in the bottom, so I'm gonna dip it in.
the temperature says looks like to be accurate because I did set my heater to be at 77 and the TDS is right now saying that 30, 15, anywhere from 30, 15 to 20 something. So I'm gonna press hold. 30, 15 is number. Holy moly. Okay, I'm gonna go take this and go dip it in my RO water and see where that TDS is. All right, guys. So um, <laughs> I did a couple more tests. This is something really strange. So this tank here, I test the pH is at 7.5 six using this guy and then when I test my RO straight up RO water coming out of the tap that I have stored it is at eight and then I tested a bucket of five gallon salt water that I mixed two nights ago so it's been mixed for two nights and I am using aquamarine um, aka the best sand of uh, the, the best salt that people think there is Anyways, that thing is at 6.8 using this monitor. So I think I might need to calibrate this a little bit. Also, by the way, this thing, when I tested my RO water is at eight, at like a single number eight PPM. So which is pretty good. That shows me that my RO membrane is working and it's proper. I haven't tested my raw tap water um, I when I dip this thing in the tank obviously with all the salt and the solution I dump in and with all the fish waste it is pretty high it's at 3,000 ppm I expect that it's okay I probably need to work on my filtration actually it is overdue for a water change because I haven't changed the water for a few days because I sprained my ankle blah 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 long story short I am going to calibrate the pH meter and then, um, oh, by the way, why I know this thing is off? Because I actually did an API uh, pH test and it tested 8.2 for this water. Um, and this says 7.6. So let me do the calibration. I'll be back in a minute. All right, well, I'm gonna do the calibration and uh, looking at the instruction now, but I admit this is not the easiest. So. All you need is all three of this calibration packets and I had my little measuring cup here. You will need to fill with distilled water, 250 milliliter ml uh, with three cups. So one of each and um, each one has had different, um, di different solution in or different solvent in it. And then I'll have to stir it, make sure it is thoroughly melted. And then I will need to do is to dip this, pressing the cal um, CIL calibration button and go through all three of the, all of the boxes. So let me mix up the solution and I'll go through for that. Okay, so next step, I have all three powders in the cup, well dissolved. I have to start with the pH 6.8 and then jump to pH 4, and then jump to pH 9. And in between, I'll be clicking the calibration button for five seconds until everything flashed three times. And then I'll need to clean the electro probe and then dip into the next one until this process is complete. So um, let's just see how it goes. All right, uh, post calibration. Let's see how this puppy performs. So let me dip in here one more time. And that still does not look right. Now it's peering way too high. Hmm. Now it's a 9.6. Huh, interesting. Oh, well, let me uh, go back and try it again. 
All right, I think I may have been too impatient during the calibration period because right now, um, without calibrating more, I just left this guy in the tank for a while and I see that it went down for all the way from 9.4 down to 8.6, but I did have to leave it in there for a good two to three minutes for it to come down. It's probably because of some residual um, calibration liquid left on it. So it's still going down a little bit. Now it's close. It's closer to 8.6 so I'll leave it in here for a couple more minutes uh, see if it'll go down to kind of match what I tested for um, API anyway so this is a quick episode about pH testing and um, dissolve um, material hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you have any questions um, let me know any recommendation on what to do or how you do and practice your pH and control your pH level feel free to comment below thank you again and uh, I look forward to see you again. Please support me by subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing my videos. Thank you. Happy reefing.